Hi, my name is Kai Plöger from ERS at TU Darmstadt in Germany. This talk is about robot juggling. More specifically about juggling two balls with a single anthropomorphic manipulator which looks like this. We choose juggling to explore dynamic movements because it requires both speed and precision at the same time, which makes it a challenging manipulation task. Under high accelerations, it is very hard to model contacts and dynamics due to saturating motor currents, object deformations and in our case, the robot's cable drives. Therefore, it is necessary to train directly on the physical system instead of pre-training in simulation. Even a transfer of the optimal policy to a different barrel VAM robot is not possible for this task. As you can see here on the left side, a cycle of the desired movement starts with the end effector at the bottom left holding ball A. From here, the end effector moves upwards to throw ball A before moving to the bottom right to catch ball B. Now the end effector moves upwards to throw ball B and returns to position 1 to start the cycle from the beginning. We chose a type of juggling ball that is partially filled with sand to prevent bouncing. This way we don't need to actively grasp the balls, allowing us to use an unactuated end effector. The main advantage of our particular design is that we achieve a passive contraction around the ball trajectories. On the other hand, we cannot throw the balls individually, so we have to launch the second ball from a custom build mechanism above the robot. We use the four positions described before as via points to define a movement primitive using cubic interpolation. Note that position 1 is used twice to close the cycle. To reduce the number of parameters, we set all via point velocities to zero and apply symmetry constraints. This allows us to achieve a policy representation that in comparison to popular neural network architectures is very compact and sufficiently expressive at the same time. It also allows us to sample smooth trajectories during exploration by parameter perturbation. We formulate the learning problem episodically with reps and initialize the mean of the search distribution pi zero, given a demonstration of a roughly hand-tuned movement primitive. In each episode, a batch of rollouts is sampled. Then all rollouts are evaluated using a binary reward function that returns a constant value if no ball has dropped. This way, the episode return R is proportional to the successfully juggled time, which we limit to a maximum of 10 seconds. Using episodic reps, we improve the search distribution by maximizing the expected return while complying to a KL bound on the update. This process is repeated until convergence. Here you see all rollouts sampled during the learning for each episode. In the first episodes, most rollouts fail immediately as expected but the performance improves quickly and in episode 3, the first rollout successfully juggles for the entire duration of 10 seconds. Due to the cyclic structure of our policy representation, most rollouts that fail do so at the beginning. In the final episode 20, every single rollout succeeds to juggle without dropping. To summarize, we have shown that we can efficiently learn the task of robot juggling using structured movement representation and episodic parameter exploration. Framing the problem as episodic RL, we can learn the task within only 56 minutes of experience despite the very sparse rewards. The final movement is robust enough to juggle for over 30 minutes or more than 4,500 repeated catches.